Please proceed straight ahead. Wait, this is a dead end, right? Why is it telling me to go straight? Your GPS is outdated. This place is different from others. You have to pass through this small, narrow opening now. This tiny little opening? How am I supposed to squeeze through? Don't worry, I'll give you a push. A mighty butt assist. Ah, ah, ah. Made it, now you're in. Hey, I'm stuck here. What's the difference between this and before? Why am I stuck here? We need a little liquid. The urine up ahead will dissolve you and flush you out. Flush me out? What kind of combo is this? Oh, oh, oh. Your son was born without an anus. He should have been a victim of fecal impaction, but luckily he has a rectourethral fistula. The poop can exit through the urethra with the urine. So what do we do now? No problem. I'll just take a small scalpel, make a tiny incision, and open up a new exit. All right, squad. We gotta find the source of the pain ASAP. Move out. Hey, Halt. What's your business here? Was that you yelling about the pain? You guys are the pain relief crew, right? Well, you need to report to the liver first. Protocol, people. Hop in. This ride will take you straight to the liver. We're here. Let's check if this guy is the one screaming in pain. Whoa, stop right there. What are you doing? Are you the one who's hurting? We're here to help you. I don't trust you. I'm going to metabolize you all. Run! If we get metabolized, we can't stop the pain. Okay, he probably can't catch us now. But where do we go next? Wait, look, there's a sign. Then let's split up and execute the mission. Are you hurting? Hurting? Nah. Are you hurting? I don't hurt. Are you hurting? Yes, I'm hurting. Can't you see how obvious this is? Aha, finally found the target. It hurts so bad. Can somebody help me? Huh? It's gone. It hurts. Save me, please. Looks like this is the root of the pain. I'll go in and stop it from producing this stuff. You block the door. Once this guy disappears, the pain will stop. Got it. No problem. Oh, finally, peace and quiet. Phew, my tummy finally stopped hurting. But how did that thing know where I was hurting? Yay, the first little bean of my life is coming. Hello! So cute. Find the bed. I can't wait to experience being pregnant. Ah! Ah! Suddenly, I feel like he's not very cute anymore. A few moments later. How come you look exactly like the father? <laughs> Of course, my placenta is 100% made by the father's genes. <laughs> I'm vaguely unhappy about that. Hey, send some oxygen to the little bean. Glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, and water. Got it. They say the mother does all the work and all you do is flap your mouth. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the restaurant and I am the staff responsible for serving the food. Mm -hmm. We are a partnership, okay? 2,000 years. Hmm. The due date is finally here. Time to unload the cargo. Ugh. Hmm, old colleague, let's cooperate again sometime. Um, don't shoot, I'm leaving right now. Deep breath, hold it, and push down with your belly. Uh, ah, ah. Stop screaming, you're wasting all your energy. If labor lasts too long, the baby might be deprived of oxygen. Deep breath, push hard like you're having a bowel movement. Uh. Hey, I think I just gave birth. <coughs> My bad, I couldn't hold it in. <laughs> this is officially the most embarrassing moment of my life. No problem, let's go again. Deep breath, push, you can do it. Ugh. Finally, it's out. That was not easy. I'm so sorry for causing trouble and for releasing that as well. Hey, that's completely normal. You just completed the great and challenging mission of reproduction. Why are there two lines drawn here? Uh, ooh, horizontal and vertical. Let's make a cross. Stop, stop, stop. You want to do a crucifix cut? Well, which one are we cutting then? The horizontal one, duh. Smaller scar, quicker recovery. Oh no, oh no, fetal heartbeat is weakening. Oh, the baby's in trouble. Don't panic, I'm getting you out now. Wait, didn't we say horizontal? Why are you pulling me up? Emergency situation, horizontal is out. Vertical incision can open the abdomen faster, gives better visibility and makes the surgery easier. Okay, okay, just hurry up. Hey, again, is this still vertical? Oh man, only the first layer is vertical. The rest is done like normal. Oh, right. Hey, 
Hey, Doc, how's my wife? Congratulations. Mother and son are safe. One, two, three, three babies? So lucky. Hey, what are you doing? Multiple fetuses carry high risks. Fetal reduction for better outcomes is advised. Go away. What if they are all good? That would be a waste. I want to keep them all. Oh no, why does this one look so strange? Could it be growing abnormally? I can eat and drink just fine. I'm doing great. Ouch, it hurts. Who is it? You just pricked my son's heart. You didn't want to let go earlier. Now it has developed into a deformed fetus and needs to be removed with a potassium chloride injection. <laughs> my child, let's be mother and child again in the next life. What about this deceased fetus now? The deceased fetus will gradually atrophy without nutrition. It will be removed later. Don't worry. This reduction procedure is emotionally and physically taxing. Luckily, the other two children are safe. Go home and take good care of the pregnancy. Finally, it's time to give birth. These past few months, I've been completely squished. Yeah, yeah, finally we can be free. Don't celebrate too soon. Huh, a C-section means you're getting a couple of cuts too, you know. Huh? Mmm, right here. It's coming, it's coming. Oh my god. Bladder, move over. I need to get by. Through me? Yeah. The extra peritoneal C-section doesn't go through the peritoneum. I'm already squished. I can't move an inch. It's practically poking my face. Can you move over? Move, 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 move. Keep moving. Gentle. Ow, ow. You're crushing me. Doctor, this extraperitoneal C-section is incredible. Oh, don't say that. Both the intraperitoneal and extraperitoneal methods have their pros and cons. I just happen to specialize in this type. Finally, we have upgraded to fertilized eggs. Hey, stop chatting. Time to go to the uterus to develop. Hey, hey, what about me? Well, your parents only want one right now. You'll have to wait until the second child policy opens up. Oh, no. I can't survive in here for more than two days. I'll be a dead ball. What am I waiting for? Don't worry. I'm putting you in a liquid nitrogen tank at minus 196 degrees Celsius. Your shelf life will be extended indefinitely. Two thousand years. Hey, wake up. We meet again. Your parents want a second child now. You left me for so long. I'm practically an immortal being now. Doctor, this embryo has been frozen for so many years. What about the quality? What about it? Can your quality catch up to what it was back then? Oh my, where am I? This doesn't look like the inside of a body at all. What just got in here? It's me, your little sperm buddy. Wow, that was a surprisingly simple meet cute and hookup. What did you expect? Come on, time to find your mother. Oh my, I didn't expect my little darling to come from the bottom. How special. Well, your place is pretty special too. I think I'll wander around for a bit first. All right, but when it's time to implant, don't forget to come back home. I've never seen this place before. You know what? I think I'll just settle down right here. IVF baby can still be an ectopic pregnancy? Yes, that incredibly rare probability still managed to happen to you two. So special. Last time, the little baby didn't stay. So this time, I have to take extra good care of this one. Hum, that's it. Is that all there is? What? That's too little. Look how plump you are. You're round like a bean. That's enough. Hey, I'm still hungry. I haven't eaten enough. Still hungry. Oh, come on. The child wants to eat. Just give him a little more. Ugh, you're just spoiling him. Okay, then I'll try my best to absorb, absorb, absorb. Ow! It hurts. Oops, my bad. With all the miscarriages you've had before, your uterine wall is too thin. Ugh. I accidentally punched a hole through you. Ah, what about my food? Hey, you greedy little brat. Look at the situation. All you care about is eating. You're really an overindulged child of the uterus. The placenta has perforated the uterus and grown into the bladder. You people are really giving me a tough time here. When is this scar going to heal? My body feels incomplete now. I'm here. Let me see where the best place to settle down is food. This spot is so soft and cozy. I'll take this one. Oh, my little troublemaker. Pick another spot. This place hasn't healed yet. It's soft here, and I like it. Oh, it looks like it can get out through the back, too. Whoa, it's quite spacious outside. Mom, this place is so soft and comfortable. I'm going to root myself right here. 
Hey, what the heck is this thing? Why is it growing on me? Shh, don't scream. I'm not a bad guy. I'm the placenta. Placenta? I don't know you. I don't recognize you. Help. Hey, Doc, is my situation going smoothly? Hmm, it's treatable. How do you two manage to get so many rare and complicated conditions? Ooh. Oh no, the baby is falling out. Don't worry, I'm here. Leave this to me. Sorry about that. My sphincter wasn't closed properly. Go back in, it's fine. Hey, what's wrong with you? Your door isn't closed tight, the baby fell out. What can I do? I have congenital myasthenia. I can't put any strength into it. If it wasn't for my quick reflexes, this belly would have lost its tiny fart. Oh dear, my abilities are limited. What am I supposed to do? This cervical muscle insufficiency makes miscarriage very likely. Since it's not tight, then we'll stitch it up. Ah. Uh, this constricting makes me uncomfortable. When it's time to give birth, we'll untie it, and that's it. Although the cervix has been stitched, you still need to rest in bed before delivery. 